It is time. We are in my bathroom. I'm getting ready. I am going to cut my hair. Come on, her. This is something that I've been wanting to do since the beginning of quarantine. And I gave myself, you know, a few months to really think about it to see if that's actually what I wanted or if it was just, you know, being stuck in quarantine and the urge to do it was just because we were just so stuck at home. So it's been a few months since I've thought about it. I do just don't want to cut my hair. This heat made me want to cut my hair even more because it was just getting so long and hot. Ugh, just brushing it out now. Oh my God, look at all the hair. Can you guys see all this hair that is, every time I brush my hair, that's how much hair comes out. I'm really surprised I'm not bald yet. I think I'm gonna start at armpit length, which is right here, because I still wanna be able to tie my hair up into a pretty high ponytail. First thing I should do is probably wet my hair because I think if you wet it, it'll be straighter or easier to work with. So let me do that. I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna start it under the armpit first, just in case. Working in small sections definitely feels better. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think the first time I cut my own hair, uh, like really short, was back in like 2013 or so. I just brought all my hair to the front and I think I just went and that was not a good idea. I think this feels a little bit better, a little bit more confident. I don't even think I wet my hair back then either. I think I just went straight for it. Not bad, not bad. Okay, now I'm gonna wet my hair and do the other side. Before I take it higher up, I'm just gonna work little by little. I still have quite a bit of length to spare. I think I can spare a few more inches for sure. That's still pretty long. So we're just gonna keep wetting the hair, working our way up, and I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. It's right at my armpit now. Oh my God. I think I took off another like two or three inches from the initial cut. Do I wanna cut off a few more inches? Do I have a few more inches to spare? Just finishing this side off. Oh man, it's just hair. It's just hair. I think that's gonna be my last cut. Cause I'm kind of too scared to do more. <laughs> just need to even out some of these little fray bits right here. Here and there. I like it. I, it kind of does like a little bit of a U shape, which is nice, or like a little V. Oh, how the center part is the longest. I am not mad about that. Okay, okay. Okay, I think that was a success. Now let's continue this hair transformation video. Here we are with my hair significantly shorter. Oh my goodness. I think that was probably like six or seven inches off. That is crazy. I actually cut my hair, one, because I've been wanting to take the weight off, and two, because I've been wanting to wear the INH ponytails a little bit better. I feel like when I first wore my Shayla one, which is the first ponytail I got, my hair is just so long and heavy that it was a little difficult putting it on. I got this new Lola ponytail in this lilac color. It is a lot shorter than Shayla is, so I needed to cut my hair to fit under this ponytail anyway, so all the more reason to just do it. So I'm gonna put on my face. I'm gonna go through kind of a quick makeup look. I mean, these are all products that I've used before, so it's nothing new. I'm just gonna do kind of a purpley color range just to match the ponytail a little bit. Oh my God, it kind of matches my, my nail polish color here. Anyways, let's get into the face.
that is the completed face. It really matches it pretty well, right? Okay, now I am going to attempt to put on this ponytail with you guys. <laughs> the last time I tried to put on one of these ponytails, my first experience was it was tiresome. I got I got sweaty, I got tired, my arms were in the air for too long. So now that I have a little bit more experience, I think I can do it on camera. So I think I'm gonna braid it, which is one of the tips that the INH team has given us to braid your ponytail so it hides in the clip-on ponytail a little bit better. I, I didn't even braid it to the end. Now the INH ponytail comes with two little, uh, what are these called? I am losing my mind, bobby pins. What it calls bobby pin two bobby pins these are pretty large bobby pins and they feel really nice and sturdy now you're going to want to put it on top of your ponytail and then oh my god wrap the excess hair around the base of the ponytail you can do this on you can do this i'm doing it i'm doing it Here we go, here we go. Once you have that wrapped, take the bobby pins. Why am I feeling so frantic right now? And pin that extra hair to the base. Ooh, here it is, here is the hair. Oh my God, you can totally still see my hair underneath, but it is the length is pretty much hidden. Oh my God, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna do the method that I like best, which is putting my hair into a bun first and then putting the ponytail on. So for a very secure bun, I still suggest uh, wrapping, uh, tying your hair up into a ponytail first with one band and then taking another band to secure the bun. Now that my hair is a lot shorter, the bun isn't as fat and um, probably won't be protruding as much. All right, here we go again. Oh my god, so cute. I really do like the bun method because it kind of gives your hair a little bit of lift as well back here. Oh my god, isn't it cute? Ah! And I'm so happy I was able to put on this ponytail uh, on camera for you guys and show you guys the struggle because sometimes in their promos they make it look so easy. Uh, sometimes you just, you know, there's a little bit of a learning curve so you just gotta find the way that's best for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing me cut my hair, do my makeup a little bit, put on this ponytail. I will link the ponytail below if you guys wanna get your hands on one. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm gonna go fill myself up a little bit more in front of this mirror, maybe take some pictures. <laughs> thank you for watching, bye.